What are, just to go back to what you were mentioning with Elijah, what are like three actionables that a rider could say start doing tomorrow to get on that path marketing-wise? Yeah, just really invest in yourself. Don't be afraid to spend some money. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, get coached. I mean, social obviously is a big one and his social is great. He's got a good following. Um, but, you know, like I said, we're in the YouTube era, right? So, you know, you've got to be seen. Um, I think the biggest thing is content. Content is king. Yeah. Have some having that person following you around pre post event, you know, no one's really vlogging at events in Australian races yet and I'm surprised. Um yeah. but that that's what I would be doing, you know. I, I kinda of do that with some of my kids stuff now. We get great support through yeah. our racing, but um you know, they're kind of everywhere and some people don't agree with that. But you know, it's it's what I enjoy doing. It's I kind of do it for a living, you know. So if I can put that into what my kids do and, and we can get some support from it, then why not? But yeah, um, you know, and I'm trying to teach my son that stuff now. You know, he has good deals, but it's like, man, you got to work for it. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'll speak to it on this. Like I didn't, I thought about doing these for maybe like 12 months, so to speak. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to have talks right now. Finally did it, and the reaction from putting out like long form content just behind the scenes, all that sort of stuff, it's been 20 fold what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's much more than say, just like a social media post here and there, it's kind of surface level. People might know about you, but not who you are. As soon as you start to do like the blog stuff, the um, interviews, the podcast, whatever it is, it, it's like a whole nother level of yeah. people don't just know about you, they, they invest in you. Yeah. Um, Joel Evans is another guy that does a great job. In that. Yeah, I keep hearing that, and to be honest, I haven't looked at a lot of what he does. I follow him on social, but for some reason, I don't get served with a lot of his content. So I really got to go back um, and have a look at what he does. But I think, um, yeah, just invest in yourself, invest in yep. in in content, um, and that would be the first one for me, or probably the biggest one. It's yeah. I mean, you've got to be able to ride a dirt bike too, though. Don't get me wrong. You can't, yeah, you sure. can't. You can't not jump a triple or skim through a set of whoops and do that because then you just get caught out and look like a gook. Yeah. So you've still got to know what you're doing. You've still got to be able to ride, but to take it to that next level and be seen and be heard, you've just got to invest in yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, you always got to have the general attributes, but then if you just want to carry a camera yeah. around and show them, then there's yeah. a lot of added value in that.